Governor Ron DeSantis is repeating his opposition to mask mandates and masks in school. Yeah, he took his message on the road last night addressing a conference of state legislators in Utah. And some of his comments there are raising new questions. Investigator Eric Sandoval took those comments and put them through the new six trust index. Eric. Yeah, good evening, guys. We told you yesterday the governor refused to take any questions at a news conference he was holding in the Florida panhandle. His office told us then that he had a lot of events. There was nothing else on his schedule yesterday, and we found out that he actually traveled to Utah last night to address a conference of lawmakers from around the country. And he opened up by taking aim at the CDC's new guidance on wearing masks. I did not get the CDC's memo. I don't see you guys complying. Five minutes later, the governor said this about people who have gotten COVID and recovered from it. Here we are now. And the CDC is saying every single person in a school needs to wear a mask all day, even if you're vaccinated, even if you've recovered from COVID, which, by the way, you are immune if you've recovered from COVID. CDC doesn't admit that, but it's true. We investigated the science behind that claim, and the CDC says although persons with COVID-19 antibodies are largely protected, Subsequent infection is possible for some persons due to a lack of sterilizing immunity, which basically means their immunity isn't strong enough. Dr. Frank Esper with the Cleveland Clinic says your previous infection may uh, your previous infection may prevent you from getting sick, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't become infected and then spread it to others. When we challenged the governor's office with this research, they responded with this. Governor DeSantis' claim about the existence of natural immunity is supported by science. The instances of someone being infected twice, as you noted, are so rare that it makes the news. We have brought you those stories. As a matter of fact, Adam Stradler was hospitalized last year with COVID. He returned home only to get reinfected when his wife got sick. He was hospitalized a second time after caring for her. Fortunately, they both survived. So taking into account the medical research showing reinfection is possible, but that illnesses may not be as severe, we give the governor's comments in Utah a be careful mark on the trust index.